In this video, we will show you how to get started with AWS IoT Core application with SAM IoT WX V2 Development Board. Microsoft offers the SAM IoT WX V2 Development Board as a part of Secure, Connected and Smart World to simplify your IoT design. The SAM IoT Board connects to AWS Cloud IoT Core in 30 seconds. Using the Trust Platform Design Suite, MPLAB Code Configurator, and MPLAB Tools ecosystem, you can now add connectivity to AWS from your new and existing projects with just a few clicks. You can expand the board's capabilities using clickboards through the onboard microbus connector. This small yet powerful board based on SAM D21 microcontroller with ARM Cortex M0 Plus is designed for Wi-Fi based IoT applications and showcases MQTT data transfer capabilities. So let's get started. Before we get started, let us look at the resources available on the board. For details, refer the video SAM IoT WX V2 Development Board Overview. Additionally, there are four LED indicators on the board with different colors. Each LED indicates the corresponding status of the board. The blue LED indicates a successful connection to the local Wi-Fi network. The green LED indicates a successful connection to the cloud and the yellow LED blinks indicating a successful transfer of the sensor data to the cloud and the red LED indicates there is an error. Our goal in this video is to seamlessly integrate the development board with AWS services and demonstrate MQTT data transfer of the onboard light and temperature sensor data to AWS IoT Core and visualize the data. To achieve this, we will set up the hardware, set up the AWS account, provision the device and program the application, run the demo application and visualize the data. Let us set up the hardware as shown to test functionality. Connect a micro USB cable from the PC to debug USB port of the development board to power the board for the programming. Before diving into the application, you will need an AWS account. Head to the AWS website and follow the instructions to create your account. You can send data to the AWS cloud in three simple steps pertaining to secure, connected and smart product and feature offerings. To securely register the device to the AWS IoT platform, the ATECC608B module on the board must be provisioned using the TPDS. Connect the SAM IoT WX V2 board to the TPDS tool running on the PC using a USB cable. TPDS automatically downloads the UK PSP to the SAM IoT WX V2 board. Run the following use case steps to install certificates on the device and register it with the selected cloud platform. Provision or upgrade the Atwink 1510 Wi-Fi controller module with certificates. The green LED indicates that the Atwink 1510 Wi-Fi controller module is provisioned. The red LED indicates that the firmware on the Wi-Fi controller module is not up to date and needs provisioning as the firmware is not compatible with the software on the ATSAM D21 G18A microcontroller. To perform the Atwink 1510 provisioning, click CSource folder tab in the TPDS GUI. Then run the Wink provisioner batch file to provision the Wink module. Note, now that the board is provisioned with the AWS Cloud Platform, we will call it SAM IoT WA instead of WX V2 Development Board. Finally, in step 3, click on MPLABX project in TPDS. A project opens in the IDE. Press build and program button to download the firmware onto the board. Also, please note that you can upgrade the firmware through the drag and drop method. This method could be followed if you are doing a subsequent programming of the application firmware. Navigate to the link and download the latest version of the hex file from the hex folder. Drag and drop the downloaded .hex file onto the curiosity drive. This will automatically program the microcontroller with the provided .hex file. There is no need to open the MPLABX IDE to program the hex file. Set up the Wi-Fi configuration through command line interface. Open a terminal application on the host PC for the virtual com of the connected SAM IoT WAV2 development board with 9600 8 none settings. Set up the baud rate to 9600 and enable carriage plus line feed for the receiver and transmitter. Type help to display the CLI commands. Enter device to see the device serial number. Enter key to get the pre-programmed ECC public key. Type your Wi-Fi credentials in the format Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, your SSID, your password and then the authentication type and then enter. You can refer to the Wi-Fi command format displayed on the screen. 
If the Wi-Fi network is active, then the SAM IoT WAV2 development board establishes connectivity to the Wi-Fi network, sets the blue LED, and security connects to the AWS IoT cloud and sets the green LED. After a successful connection, the SAM IoT WAV2 development board pushes the real-time light and temperature sensors data to the IoT cloud page and toggles the yellow LED. If not, the red LED glows, indicating error. Then within a few seconds, you should see light and temperature sensor data published on the web page. The final step is to visualize the sensor data in CloudWatch. With AWS Lambda, AWS IoT Core and CloudWatch, you can effortlessly transfer, process and visualize sensor data in the cloud. You can create a custom dashboard named SAM IoT V2 dashboard and add widgets to display temperature and light matrices. Navigate to the link shown on the screen for more application demos for the SAM IoT V2 WX development board or other development boards or kits through the MPLAB Discover. Also, please visit microsoft.com slash harmony to learn more about MPLAB Harmony V3 features, benefits and other information. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.